We ball, we drink, we drink, fuck all up Rock me, rock me, no body, why go link, go link She going down, down, no tea, no tea And like, that's me, that's me you wanna meet somebody, ask me. ask me You wanna see somebody, ask me, ask me. Hey, I tell her, let's get in the back seat San Antonio Well, my mom, my mom, uh, she's a San Antonio native So, oh, like, okay. yeah, San Antonio's like the home place But they recently, my parents meet, recently moved to Tampa But most of my family still is in San Antonio, so Okay So I'm gonna talk about, a little bit about the music Okay. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, your freestyle for, I, li I listen to some of the songs off your SoundCloud. Appreciate it. It's pretty appreciate dope, it. so you know what I'm saying? So, you, dro and you dropped the project uh, recently in the past. The last, the last time I dropped a project was actually three years ago, my sophomore year. Mm -hmm. uh, it was called Dreams of Mountains, but it didn't really do what I wanted it to do. I didn't really, you know, yeah. get what I wanted to get out from it. So, uh, I, have a, I actually have a project coming out next month on the 21st called, uh, it's called The Eternal Journal. That's coming out May 21st, so, yeah. What's it going to be the concept of it? Uh, the concept of it is basically, uh, I'm just telling the story of, you know, myself and the people around me, like, you know, how we see the world, how we see ourselves. It's kind of just like social commentary, basically, through my eyes and the eyes of other people around me. Okay, okay, okay. So, um, walk. Well, I walk the poet, you know. <laughs> also to the beat. I heard uh, some of stuff outside club hanging from the rafters. Yeah. So my favorite, you also got the the Diamond Dancing remix you have on there. Yeah. Which is yeah, the poetry. Yeah, yeah. So talk a little bit about, you know, what you do, man. Man, I just, uh, man, I'm a poet. You know, I'm a spoken word artist. Uh, I, 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 I vibe and I flow with words, you know what I'm saying? Like, I like the lining up of syllables and, and consonants and vowels next to each other. It's like supersonic for me you know like the vibrations of the words just as they play out and the music kind of came next to that for me and so uh, definitely uh, I, I was dropping a lot of just little different projects so i think the biggest issue for us uh, as artists sometimes is that especially if you're a student especially if you're a student or if you got a full-time job anywhere is you get caught up in life you know what i'm saying yeah. your eight to five grind is a lot you yeah. know going to class all day it's no joke, especially when your grades is what's keeping you in school and everything. Mm -hmm. So just over the break, I was with my girl at my girl's house and we was chilling and she running around having a good time with her homegirls, whatever. And I'm sitting at the crib like, bro, in 2016, all you need is a microphone and Wi-Fi to make music. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. So I didn't let nothing stand in my way. You know what I'm saying? It was it was fun. It's been fun. Okay, so a question for the both of y'all. Um, you said being a student and, you know, doing your job, okay, being a student and, you know, trying to rap and do all that, how do you balance it out, school and rapping and doing it? Oh, uh, first of all, I'm not a rapper. Oh. Okay, okay. <laughs> no, 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 it's cool. It's actually a, a joke. Oh. Whatever you make uh, No, like, with, uh, with that, like, um, for me, it's it's always had to come in the downtime, just because again, like I'm here on an academic scholarship. By the way, shouts out to seniors, 2016, made it, did it in four. Um, so like the first, the project that I've got that has been on, just it's just sitting on a shelf right now. I I, I gotta wait to protect my intellectual property because it's all original content. Um, it's called The Long Walk, and it's a poetry spoken word album. Uh, I did that during a winter break. Two, it, it was it was two winter breaks ago. I basically convinced my friend Brandon Willis, who's a dope ass cat, just fiend when it comes to the ADA. He was a. Uh I was like, man, stay here with me. He's like, man, I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna go to Houston with my family. It's winter break. I was like, nah, bro, forget that. <laughs> stay right here and make music with me. He's like, all right. So we we did that project. Like I had stuff written out and like the music and stuff was being composed beforehand. But we like did the project, the recording of it, like two and a half weeks. So like just finding space and time, really. For me, uh, I usually it's the same thing with me. I just found the find find the downtime to work on the music. So like anytime. I'm in class, like a class that I know I'm good in, I, I'll like write a song if I have the inspiration or you know if I need to like do a show or something like that I'll probably do it like on the weekend or like during like winter break or summer break or whatever but typically just to find the balance you just have to prioritize your time, that's basically it. Um, Roger, uh, you performed one of the songs at uh, one of the, 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 the poems at the uh, talent show. Mm -hmm. uh, how was that experience for you? Um. Man, getting to perform my poetry at this school 
has been one of the most existential experiences I've ever had. Mm -hmm. Like, PV's a rough crowd. Yeah, PV, PV is savage. <laughs> and unfortunately, what happens is like, I don't know if it's like, it, it, it comes across See, my, like, people got an issue with, like, Simon Cowell. Yeah. I don't really have a problem with Simon Cowell. I have a problem with the way he treats people he don't like, but the man's got an ear for talent. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Same principle with Prairie View. Prairie View's got an ear for talent, but the way they treat somebody who maybe doesn't fit into the diaspora that they want at a particular given point in time yeah. is just kind of awful. So for me to go back to back to back to back to back, Content new content after new content after new content with my poems with the music and then I put 35 40 people on stage and then I was kissing this girl during homecoming like and get away with it <laughs> Nah, how, how did your girl feel nah. about that? Man boy, that's a whole other show <laughs> No, it was um, it was a it was a very big issue for me and my girl at the time because we I, I was I, I had I was sitting there with the poem the poems from the album We're putting the composition together for how we do it on stage and I told my girl I was like Man, I think I need to kiss this girl. And she was like, excuse me? And yeah. that popped off for two and a half weeks. So <laughs> by the end, my girl saw that I'm an artist and so I would I don't want I didn't want to be put in a box. I wanted to be able to have the freedom to express, but we had to kind of have this we had this long conversation about boundaries. Where yeah. does it is? Because it's all a matter of perspective. Somebody says that porn's art. Yeah. There are people that think porn is art. I think it's smut. But you know, there are people who think porn is art, and who are you to tell them not? It's all about perception. So we wanted to set a line and say, this is where I can go. Anything past that is simply, it's not that it's wrong or right. It's outside the bounds of our relationship. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I got to stay within them bounds, you know. How, how did the girl react to you knowing you had a girl? Um. That was a, yeah. I'm having my own mental breakdowns. I'm having my own yeah, yeah. Day, two nights ago. I'm sitting in my homeboy's room. I also couldn't go on Prairie View A&M University's oh, campus. We are going to have five. We're going to have five of the most amazing artists, the most amazing original artists that the school has ever seen. I myself am proud to stand on stage as Walk the Poet and give y'all this most damning, uh, exciting, existential poetry you've ever heard. I'm reaching for your soul. I'm reaching for your heart. I'm reaching for your mind. Uh, might cry on stage, so he might do. You know, bring a towel. Then my boy Maliko Sase, yeah. he's gonna catch a mean set. He's got, he's got this black power, this be aware of yourself, this open your mind, your heart, and your spirit movement. We got this boy Crooms. He's a goon. Crooms is just the meanest cat you've ever known. Shout out to the boy Darnell. All right. Then we've also got the Brass Connection. Hold on, he gave it a whole shout. -out. A whole shout out to the squash. Come on, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. You gotta you gotta look out for people's range of rock the poet is a short hand extension of Walk of Fame, which is my actual moniker. Walk of Fame is spelled W L K O F P H A I M. But if people don't know what the what moniker means, it means <laughs> moniker. In the brown Porsche, not still in the central. She digging how I sent her. I'm making them wonder, and they looking why, and I hoping they see that Rotten time is try. Yeah. Well, what about the vision I've been envisioning? Go ahead and cut up every single thing incision. Oh my God, like wicked precision. I murder every single thing I envisioned. Oh my God, it's a nightmare and a dream in the same scene. Oh my God, so serene. I've been stalking on the green, stacking on the green. I've been eating on these greens on my time, not the time, it's on the motherfucking thing. Oh my god, he be just sipping on the lane, moving on the lane, doing in the scene, moving in the dream. Oh my god, I really been murdering everything. Oh my god, I really been murdering everything. I called up my brother Malik and then I told him what? I called up my nigga my Norman and then I told him what? I told him I just keep on doing all this poetry shit until it's mother, 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 motherfucking done. I'm done. On sight, I do everything for that long night. Go ahead. I hear the squeak from the sneaks all night. Um, I've been looking inside the mirror, like wondering who's this man in front of me and why does he keep on cursing? Well, okay, go ahead, Roger Thomas, so reckless. And I went 90 miles. Trying to be the best man from the bad west. It's like I just walked into Will Smith and I asked him, bro, have you really been acting? He said, nah, bro, I'm all about the spitting for action. I've been directing everything like movie clapping action. Actually, I've been going back to the tough Teflon. Like I could go ahead and cook up a classic. Oh my God, like Roger Thomas, every single 
performing fast Moving around the going, killing the black lit bastards on just, Cause I'd rather see God with my own irises If he's in the future, why y'all reach the own prior shit? You own viruses, means you really are a sick bitch If you diss this, leave you dismiss with a slip disc Use a quick bitch and easy hoe for a cheap break Try to see C-notes, but that don't mean I'm trying to beat Drake Cause if it did, I'd be singing and spitting like Fuffer with fuck attached for the eating that kitchen Look, I'm <laughs> cooking Yola, just a recipe for MOBAs You used to be stinging, I use a fruity bird, no love and I'm Papa bitch Duncan Go ahead cause nigga I've been slurping Slippies at 7-Eleven oh, yeah. You know I'm not future But you know I got designer Uh, You know that shit sound like it I rail like it Oh my goodness I'm tripping cause I'm tripping You know I'm spitting Whipping with the kitchen You know my wishes Keeping the motions Uh, I'm provoking with the potion So uh, far from a poet But you know that I'm far from a novice I'm waiting to pick up sticks So we can jump over the broom And give you a ring and shit Well fuck it I mean Yo, trying to make your show amazing bro Numbers <laughs> <laughs> die or die, a matter of fact, my tongue is just a hitman for hire. I go ahead and king up every single thing is sire. Oh my god, the criminal shit is just fucking dying. Salute. Salute. Raise the bar. Appreciate it, appreciate all it. the way. Thank you for the opportunity. Oh, right. Say Dallas on the ones and twos. They say Dallas, check me and follow me on Instagram, Twitter. Listening. We, we love you, man. It's the Black Light Special, yes. April 26th.